and windows is not reflective of justice and what it is we're calling for. Pastor, you're on the street now. You're walking. Where are you walking to? I, I'm walking to wherever these young people are. That's my responsibility. That's my assignment. Uh, not even looking for you all, uh, but looking for our young people to go back uh, into their homes in a call for peace and a call for order. Can I ask a question? What can just ordinary people do like me? I'm from Baltimore. I you're love this city. I need what you can to, I do to help? I need you to get on Twitter, get on Facebook, Instagram, tell everybody to go back home and a call to peace so that all of us are on one accord and tomorrow have all of your friends meet me at Empowerment Temple at 7.30 tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Pastor, I appreciate it. Pastor Jamal Bryant, uh, what a day. He gave uh, a heck of a sermon today, uh, a eulogy for Mr. Gray, and now he's here trying to calm uh, the residents of Baltimore, people that you know, supposedly are in his camp, on his side. He says he's calling out all of the supporters that he has to build a human chain, a human wall uh, between this area and North Avenue, just a few blocks down from here where uh, Freddie Gray was arrested uh, to try to uh, keep them from moving downtown and to keep the the, the, the chaos that we're seeing in Baltimore today uh, in one area of the city and then hopefully begin to rebuild. Wolf? Right. Miguel, I want you to stand by because on the left uh, part of the screen, you're seeing what looks like a, a cab, a taxi cab. It's been attacked by uh, rioters on the streets. Uh, you saw them smashing the window. I don't know if the driver is inside, if there are any passengers are inside, but they are clearly destroying that one taxi. We've seen this now several times, police vehicles smashed, uh, burnt, and destroyed by these protesters, these rioters. Uh, it's getting very, very ugly in a major American city, uh, and it looks like it could get worse, despite the eloquent statement by Jamal Bryant, the pastor of the Empowerment Temple, appealing to all those young people who are throwing stones uh, to simply go home, says he doesn't want them arrested.